Welcome to the Drill on Earnings. We've got Cadence Design Systems fourth quarter earnings. It's the business story behind one stock on the move. I'm Corey Johnson, Futurum Group's chief market strategist. Cadence Design Systems designs a lot of stuff really focused on the world of semiconductors. Software for semiconductor design and testing before the semiconductor ever gets made. Of course, that should be super hot right now with all the growth in semiconductors, particularly around AI. Wall Street, of course, only wants to know about a beat or a miss. And yeah, this is a slight beat. The stock's selling off quite a bit. What gives? Well, let's look at the business story behind that stock. Dig a little bit deeper here. Drill down, in fact. Well, the actual number is 1.02 billion in sales. That's up 13% from the previous year about 2% better than analyst estimates. Like I said, it was a little bit of a beat. Profits, fantastic. $254 million for this company, up 37% over the previous year. But let's dig a little bit deeper. Look beyond those headline numbers. So Cadence uh, does software and harder hardware, and some of their software stuff is just really, really cutting edge, fantastic stuff. So Cadence.ai, their portfolio, uh, saw a tenfold increase of AI products uh, in the number of customers, at least, uh, sold in 2023 because of generative AI. No shocker there. Their Millennium Enterprise platform, uh, which they announced earlier this month, they think that's going to go great guns and, and high performance computing in AI. Um, and uh, But that's just getting started. And maybe that's the rub. The guidance for this company was actually that earnings will be uh, about flat, but revenues will be actually down for the first quarter of 2024 compared to the fourth quarter of 2023. That's not good news. Of course, during the conference call, the company talked about a lot of their customers beyond uh, the semiconductor co customers like Intel and NVIDIA and ARM. They talked about Boeing and GE and Honda, all uh, big manufacturers that use their software and yes, their hardware. How did the stock react to those numbers and the guide to look at the chart? Look, down 5% after hours. Uh, not great for the stock, not terrible, especially when you look at the run that things had in the last year. In the last year, the stock's up 65%. So a little bit of a sell-off, maybe not a big deal for this company. But it really was the hardware that was the problem with the guidance. And when we listened to the conference call, Cadence Design CEO, uh, Anirudh uh, Devgen, PhD. Yes, he's a PhD. He talked about the issues around hardware, how at the end of the pandemic, they just had a big backlog. Look, there's great irony, right? They couldn't get, the, they do semiconductor design with the rest of their business, but then when they needed semiconductors for their hardware, they couldn't get them during the pandemic. So they still had a big backlog last year. They were fulfilling that backlog last year, but that means the comparisons to last year, maybe not great this year. Here's the CEO. On the hardware front, you might recall this time last year, we finished um, with over six months of, um, of backlog for, for hardware. Um, we, we addressed those leads, lead times at the start of the year, uh, and now we're down to a more normal eight weeks of, of hardware backlog. So when you, when you compare the backlog at the end of uh, 23 against the end of 22, I think it's, it reflects you know strong bookings, broad-based bookings across all geographies, across all businesses. But on the on the hardware slides, slightly less hardware, or maybe um, uh, less hardware certainly in backlog at the end of 23 versus the end of 22. So still dealing with the pandemic, here we are in 2024, but the recovery is is well over for this company, but it's making the numbers this year maybe not look quite as good, even as the future might look quite bright. But let's get one big earnings takeaway from this company and one number that means a whole lot right after this. The Drill Down is brought to you by Futurum Group, where analysts, researchers, advisors, content creators, and marketing experts help business leaders anticipate and understand shifts in their industries and build strategies to leverage disruptive innovation. With deep analysis, Futurum Group's extensive industry experience delivers reliable research and data, thought leadership, and actionable advice to help you with your strategy and go-to-market efforts. Futurum Group. All right, here's your quick drill down earnings takeaway on Cadence Design Systems, the company that makes software and hardware for semiconductor design and all kinds of stuff. Really good quarter for the company, 13% uh, revenue growth year over year to over a billion dollars. Profits up 37% year over year to over a quarter million to quarter billion dollars. But the guidance actually suggests that revenues will be down in the current quarter so the stock sold off. And there's some proof of that. We can see that in the drill down earnings bite, the one number that tells us a whole lot. 42, there's your number. There were 42 days 
of sales outstanding for this company. Now, while that's high at a historic basis, that's actually a big improvement from the 49 days a year ago. So 42, there's a number, 42 days outstanding uh, for this company, an improvement over last year, uh, and things getting better at Cadence Design. Thanks for listening to Drill Down Earnings. I'm Corey Johnson. Check out our quick earning takes on Instagram and TikTok. Our full earnings reports on YouTube and a future Group channel. Drill Down Earnings, part of the 6-5 Media Group. We'll be right back.